F-35 Lightning fighters are the warplane that will eventually launch off the Queen Elizabeth ski jump. And in a top secret location, 3,000 miles away, British pilots are testing the F-35 on an exact replica of the supercarrier's flight deck. This ski jump is, is absolutely representative of our ski jump uh, on Queen Elizabeth. And this is where we've done all of our testing for the last three years. At the end of 2018, Nath Gray will be the first pilot to land an F-35 on HMS Queen Elizabeth. Is it exciting? I don't think there could be any better job in the world. But when we actually put the first wheel, when the, when the rubber hits the deck, and we have that, that capability of carrier strikers delivered back to the United Kingdom that we've missed uh, for the last eight years, um, that, that's going to be a huge moment. The F-35 can fly at well over a thousand miles per hour. Its stealth characteristics make it all but invisible in combat. Currently, one F-35B costs around $122 million and can be armed with short and medium range missiles as well as precision guided bombs. And the maritime variant being developed for the Navy is capable of hovering this will be flown by Royal Navy and Royal Air Force pilots off the Queen Elizabeth. It is then HMS Queen Elizabeth will finally be battle ready with arguably the most advanced jet fighter ever made. A long way from Commander Dunning in 1917. It's unbelievable, yeah. To, to look, look back at Dunning uh, 100 years ago, to look at the ships he was landing on with the aircraft he was in, compared to our aircraft now and the Queen Elizabeth carrier. I mean, you, you could never have imagined we could make those leaps. And where we'll be again in 100 years' time, who knows? Okay. Let's go. The Queen Elizabeth has been designed around the F-35, the hope being that ship and aircraft will combine to dominate the combat zone as never before. The real strength of the F-35 is its computer intelligence, giving it the ability to absorb and process vast amounts of information instantly. This will enable it to second guess enemy intentions and give it overall command of the battle space. It really is the stuff of Star Wars. Whether it's before the mission, so mission planning, whether it's during the mission or whether it's post-mission, the, the carrier's equipped to efficiently soak the aircraft of all the information that it has and then relay that straight away to the next battle space. Here's the conversion. Tower giving me the clearance. We're cleared for the ski jump. We're cleared. Here's the power. Plate release. 